This video will show you how you can easily make a solar powered battery charger that will fit inside a cigarette case and all for under around $12. Here's what you'll need to get started. First, pick up four solar powered garden lanterns. You can find these in just about any dollar store and they run between about a dollar to four dollars a piece. Next, pick up a cheap cigarette case. This one cost me a buck fifty. And finally, you'll need a battery holder. You can pick this up at a local electronics store for about two bucks. The equipment you'll need to put this project together include a soldering iron, resin core solder, a multimeter, and a glue gun. The first thing you need to do is take apart those solar lanterns and get at the components inside. Once you've taken everything apart, you should be left with three items. A small solar panel, a small circuit board, and a rechargeable battery. Next you'll need to take one of the components out of one of the small circuit boards. You're going to be looking for the diode. A diode allows electricity to flow in one direction only and we're going to wire the diode into our circuit so that it allows electricity to flow from the solar panels into the batteries but does not allow the batteries to discharge back into the solar panel. Now, this is what the diode looks like. I've desoldered the diode and taken it out of the circuit board and now I'm ready to use it. I'm going to use four solar panels for this project. Since I want two solar panels to be on one side of the cigarette case and two solar panels to be on the other side of the case, I'm going to wire this two ways. First, lay out the two solar panels on the left and two solar panels on the right. I'm going to wire these two pairs in parallel. So I'm going to wire the black wire to the black wire on the left side and the red wire to the red wire. On the right side, I'm going to do the same thing, black to black, red to red, or positive to positive, negative to negative. Next, I'm going to wire these two parallel circuits in series. Wire the positive leads from the left section to the positive terminal of the battery holder. Then I'm going to wire the negative lead from the left section to the positive lead of the right section, thus creating a series circuit between the two parallel circuits. Finally, I'm going to take the negative lead from the right panels and first wire them through the diode to ensure that the electricity flows directly into the battery and not the other way. You can test this by using the multimeter. Set the multimeter to detect resistance. This is the ohm symbol on the meter. Then use the negative probe from the multimeter to touch the diode closest to the solar panels. Then use the positive probe to touch the diode closest to the battery. You should be able to detect a circuit. If not, then you should flip around the diode. Here's a schematic diagram of the circuit. You can pause the video to get a better look at it. Okay, everything is soldered together now. But before we put this into the cigarette case, we better check to make sure everything is working. I've set my multimeter to DC voltage, and I'm testing the positive and negative leads at the battery terminal to see if these solar panels are generating any electricity. I'm getting about 4.5 volts, and that's from under a 60-watt light bulb, so we're looking pretty good. Next, we need to glue everything into the cigarette case. Since the solar cells are thinner than each side of the case, I'm going to put some foam underneath the solar cells so that they are level with the edge of each side of the case. I'm using an old mouse pad for this. Depending on the size of the solar cells, you may have to fiddle around on the layout. Just make sure that the foam is underneath the solar cells only and that the battery case is clear on both sides. Okay, I've glued everything together, and as you can see, there are still some unsightly wires showing through. I'm going to take some more of the foam from the mouse pad and cut some small squares that I can hot glue over these wires in order to give it a cleaner look. As you can see, I'm leaving a small space on either side of the hinge. This is so that when you close the cigarette case, the wire that goes from one end to the other can be folded into this space. Now just a bit of cleaning to get the excess glue off and you're finished. You now have a small, portable, fairly sturdy, solar powered battery charger that you can fit in your pocket. 
I'm going to keep mine with my emergency supplies. In the case of a blackout, I can always recharge those batteries that I use for my flashlights and my walkie-talkies. Thank you for watching.